Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit secure your user identity uh, from the module user authentication. This is the very first unit of this module. Here we are going to cover up how we can set multi-factor authentication for our org. So uh, recently this has been made an, a mandatory step for all the users uh, of different orgs. So you can take help from this as well. So in order to create a multi-factor or in order to set up multi-factor authentication for your org, basically uh, here, as per the challenge, we are going to create a permission set by the name Trailhead, and we are going to enable a multi-factor authentication permission into this set, permission set. And we are going to assign the set to a particular active user of this uh, uh, Trailhead playground. We are going to set up multi-factor authentication for this org and we are also going to test it but before we proceed further with the challenge make sure you have created a new trailhead playground by going to these three dots you will find an option create uh, playground and uh, rest is self-explanatory you can uh, create it uh, 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 using this create playground option it will automatically create a playground for you now it will it is going to uh, it usually takes uh, four to five minutes uh, based on your internet speed now let's quickly launch our trailhead playground uh, and you will land on this home page now here from here you have to simply in quick find type permission and it will filter out for you permission sets option click on this option it will give you the list of all the permission sets that are already there in your org now click on this new button and from the trailhead uh, challenge, I'm going to copy this permission set name. Going back to here in permission set, paste this in the label text area. API name will be auto-populated and rest, we do not have to change anything. Rest is fine. Click on save. Now, next we have to uh, enable multi-factor authentication for user interface logins uh, permission setting over here. So for that, scroll down to bottom, uh, click on this system permissions option that you are having. Now, next we have to edit, click on this edit button, and we have to uh, search for this permission, multi-factor authentication for user interface login. So going back to permission settings, uh, here scroll down to letter M, and you will find the permission here, multi-factor authentication for user interface logins. Here, just select this, uh, checkbox and go to top again and click on save. Now, next we have, to, it will again uh, ask for a confirmatory. Uh, so click on this save again. So this creates your permission set. Next, we have to assign this permission set to a particular user. So what we'll do is in quick find type user and go to the active, uh, go to the list of users we are, ha we are having for this org. So here uh, they are all active. So basically I'm going to set up this uh, multi-factor authentication for system admin uh, user itself, which is trailhead explanation. So clicking on this, uh, but before proceeding uh, for the setup of uh, multi-factor for this user, make sure you have password in hand for this a uh, particular user. If you do not have a password for this, just click on this uh, checkbox against a trailhead explanation and uh, click on this reset password. It will give you a re password reset link on your email ID associated to this particular user, right? So I have already done that in order to save time. So I'm going to skip that step. So next we are going to set up multi-factor authentication for this user. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to log out, uh, but log out from this org. But before that, we have to assign permission set to this user. So clicking on this uh, user, just scroll down to permission set uh, section. You can go to by clicking on this option as well. Uh, just click on this edit assignments. Now here, scroll down to the bottom and select trailhead and add it to enable permission set. A section click on save now this will assign permission set a trailhead to this particular user which has multi-factor authentication uh, permission now we are going to log out from this org before that just copy the username from here and make sure you have password in hand and just log out from here
Now next uh, we have to work uh, simultaneously on a mobile. So what we are going to do is first of all, just type the password uh, and username over here. So I'm going to simply log in from here. Now it is going to ask me to give two phrase, uh, yeah, two phrase word over here. So for that, what we have to do is we have to simply download Salesforce Authenticator app from App Store or Google Play Store for uh, and install it on your mobile devices. Then when you open that, uh, when uh, once it is downloaded on your mobile devices, you simply have to go to this app here and it may it might ask some basic details like your phone number and et cetera. You can fill out those, those details. Now, after that, you will find an option, add an account over here. So simply uh, click on this button, add an account. Here we are finding that the, it has uh, popped up two uh, phrase word. So extreme dose is what we have to type over here in our uh, this org in this text area. So I'm going to type this extreme dose. And once we click on this uh, connect button from our browser, it is going to send a notification on, on our mobile phone. So I will click on this connect button. And you get a notification in our uh, mobile, on our mobile, just simply click on this connect button, which you can see on uh, bottom. Clicking on this, it will add this account, this org, which we just, uh, a trailhead explanation to your mobile authenticator app. So click on this got it button. Now you, you have logged in into this org and the setup of Salesforce authentication, uh, authenticator or multi-factor authentication has been done. Now, next we have to test it. We have set up the multi-factor authentication. Now we have to test it. In order to test it, log out again from this org Now, next we are going to provide the username over here and the password as usual, uh, like we uh, usually do. And clicking on this login button, now it is going to send a notification on our mobile app, Salesforce Authenticator mobile app. And if, if the right person is logging in, if you are the person you are logging in, you can give this uh, uh, this permission on your mobile and approve this request. So on your mobile, you can see that uh, on bottom right, you can see approve button. Just simply click on this if you are logging into this. So this has approved the login request we, are, uh, we were generating from our browser. And there you go, you have completed this challenge. Now, remind me later, click on this remind me later. Now, next we have to just go back. So we have successfully logged in into our org using uh, multi-factor authentication, right? We have set up, we have also tested it. Going back to our challenge, I'm simply going to scroll down to check challenge button. And hopefully this uh, challenge should be passed and we should be able to complete this unit. Let's just wait for it to give out the results. There you go, this unit has been completed. In the, next unit, uh, in the next video, we are going to cover up the next unit for this module. Till then, take care, goodbye. Make sure you subscribe the channel. Thank you.